Bonds are an important part of most physicians' investment portfolios, but since they're not exciting like stocks, what do you really know about them? In today's video, my colleague Dave Kressner, who has over two decades of professional investing experience, will give you our bonds executive summary, their recent history and returns, our bond outlook, and how attractive we think bonds are now. By watching to the end of this video, you'll get the information you need to make informed bond decisions, which will help get you to financial independence and peace of mind. Well, Dave, thank you very much for being with us again on Wealth Matters for Physicians. Thanks so much for having me, Mike. Well, today we're discussing bonds and Altfest's current bond outlook. Mm -hmm. So, Dave, could you please summarize the recent history of the bond market and what were any key factors that were driving it? Uh, absolutely, Mike. Great, uh, great question, and I think we have a, a slide that will really illustrate that point. Great. Let's go to it. To the slide. So what we see on the screen is a graph that tracks the Fed funds rate over the last 30 years. As the gray line moves from the left part of the screen to the right, um, we can track that rate. And the, Fed's fu the Fed funds rate that's tracked here is one of the most important interest rates in the U.S., and it influences the cost of borrowing across the economy. The Fed reduces interest rates to accelerate growth in the economy when it's lagging, and it increases interest rates to dampen growth when it's running too hot. What you can see on the screen is that the wild interest rate swings that we've seen over the last few years have really created chaos in the bond market and more turbulence than, than is normal, even within a diversified portfolio of bonds. So focusing on the area of the graph highlighted in blue on the right between 2020 and the present, you can see the dramatic whipsaw that we've experienced in interest rates over the last several years. In response to the pandemic, the Fed cut interest rates to near 0% in March of 2020 and kept it there until March of 2022. This prolonged period of very low interest rates was successful in keeping the economy float during the pandemic. However, all of the economic stimulus was not without some undesirable consequences. Chief among those issues was very high inflation. Consumer demand fueled by low interest rates, supply chain issues, and other factors pushed inflation to a peak of, near nine, of over 9% by June of 2022, which was the highest level in four decades. In response to these rampant price increases, between March of 2022 and July of 2023, the Fed reversed course and raised interest rates by 5.25 percentage points, which was the fastest rate of increase also in about 40 years. These dramatic changes in interest rates over this relatively short period of time, first down and then up, are important to bonds because interest rates and bond prices move in the opposite directions. In my experience speaking with individual investors, this very important financial relationship between interest rates and bond prices, which we saw on, which we see on this page, um, illustrates the relationship and all of the volatility that we've seen over the, uh, the last few years. And many people don't really recognize that that relationship exists. Before we return to the interview, thank you for watching Wealth Matters for Physicians by Altfest Personal Wealth Management the channel which provides physicians with key investing and personal financial planning strategies. For over 40 years, physicians have relied on Altfest to help them achieve their financial independence and the future they deserve. We'd be honored to speak with you. And now back to the interview. So what is our expectation for the U.S. economy and by extrapolation for bonds going forward? Uh, uh, sure, Mike. The, uh, the outlook for the, uh, the economy is definitely an important consideration when you think about the direction of bonds from here. And once again, we have a great slide that uh, that'll help us discuss that in more detail. Thank you so much. So as we look at the uh, the slide that's on the screen now, our expectations for slowing economic growth and moderating inflation support our outlook for bonds going forward. A at this point, we're really sort of like cautiously optimistic about uh, bonds. So when we look at the current economic conditions, um, in general, we recommend though a selective approach when making investments within the bond asset class, because you really need to be sort of like mindful of the risks and the role that you expect them to play in the portfolio. So as we've seen already, interest rates are much higher than they were a few years ago. And just as interest rates and bond prices move in opposite directions, on a related note, economic growth and inflation and bond prices often move in opposite directions as well. When the economy and inflation slow, interest rates often fall and bonds will do better at that time. Right now, when we look at the economy, we see economic growth and inflation moderating, which should portend well for bonds going forward. So on this page, we've illustrated sets of data that often provide a forward-looking glimpse into the direction of the economy. 
On the left, we see a graph that tracks the leading economic indicators. And on the right, we see ISM manufacturing in dark blue and non-manufacturing in light blue. Both graphs track these data points over the last 20 years. As we can see, these data sets have all turned down and are well off their recent peaks. When it comes to bonds, bad news can often provide fuel for positive returns. So slowing economic growth gives us some confidence that positive bond returns can be supported going forward. So how is inflation doing now, and what do we expect it to do going forward? Sure. Yeah, as we all know, inflation really has been a big uh, part of the economic story over the last c couple of years, and it will have an important impact on bonds going forward. And once again, we've got a great slide that illustrate, helps illustrate our expectations with regard to that. A lot of great slides today. Absolutely. So as we look at the, uh, the slide that's on the screen now, we know that surging inflation like we saw in 2021 and 2022 can be a threat to uh, bonds. And on this page, we see an illustration of the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. CPI is a common gauge of inflation. The line on this graph depicts the level of CPI and component pieces of it over the last 50 years. From the early 90s through 2020, inflation had been very well behaved. But then it spiked in 2021 and 2022 to levels that we haven't seen since the late 70s and early 80s. Starting in 2022 and continuing to present, much higher interest rates and the gradual resolution of the supply chain problems um, have really taken some of the sail from the wind, uh, or rather some of the uh, wind from the sails of the uh, issues that caused inflation to spike. So while inflation hasn't yet gotten down to the desired level of the Federal Reserve, which is between 2 and 3 percent, it's well off the very elevated levels that we, uh, that we have seen over the last couple of years. And while there's some uncertainty about the direction of inflation from here, we think most likely that the worst of inflation is behind us and that price increases should stabilize at a lower level moving forward. So from our perspective, the economic backdrop of both the slowing economic growth and inflation is currently supportive to positive bond returns looking ahead and should enhance the value that bonds bring to your portfolio. So Dave, now the question that our physician audience really wants to know mm -hmm. is how attractive are bonds now? Right, yeah, that really is sort of like where the rubber hits the road with regard to sort of uh, um, bonds and the, uh, the uh, economy is kind of like what we expect from them in your portfolio. And uh, once again, we've got sort of like a great slide that'll help us talk to that point. Thank you. So to the, uh, to the slide, what we see, and as we've been discussing, is that runaway inflation and sharply higher interest rates in 2021 and 2022 really did a tremendous amount of damage to the bond market. By that, I mean that interest rates went up and bond prices went down. While bond prices recovered somewhat in 2023, we think that some selective opportunities remain to achieve an attractive return without taking on undue risk in the bond market today. But you really have to tread carefully. When we look at this page, we see that on the surface, many parts of the bond market look attractive compared to their history. Reading from left to right, each gray bar represents the range of yields for different types of bonds over the last 10 years. The purple strip indicates the 10-year median yield for that type of bond, and the blue diamond the current level of yield. As we recall, high yield or interest rates mean low prices for bonds. While the blue diamonds are not currently at the very top of the gray bars, they remain closer to the top than the bottom and well above the 10-year median for almost every type of bond over that period. While bonds in general are looking more attractive from our perspective, as we've learned over the last couple of years, bonds are not without risk by any means. We think it's critically important to identify specific parts of the bond market where the opportunity justifies the risk, and then to execute the investments with a great amount of precision to achieve the positive outcome that your portfolio really needs. Well, that's all that we have for today on bonds. Dave, thank you very much for being with us today on Wealth Matters for Physicians. You've really given our physician audience a great deal to think about regarding bonds and the outlook on bonds. And thanks so much for having me, Mike. It's been great, uh, great being here and great sharing this information with your physician audience. Thanks again. If you'd like to discuss the information explained in today's video, receive a complimentary review of your investment portfolio or a retirement readiness analysis, or discuss any other personal financial planning area with an Altfest professional at no obligation, please contact my colleague Jesse Freeling at 212-796-8732 or by emailing Jesse at his email address, which is also in the description of today's video. If you like today's video, please click the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon to receive notifications each time we release a new one. If you think that a fellow physician would find this video interesting or useful, please share it with him or her to help them strengthen their finances. Lastly, as always, if you have topics you'd like us to cover, like or dislike certain things that we're doing, or have 
any other feedback, we would love to hear from you. So please give us your comments in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now, physicians. Thank you very much for being with us in today's video, and I look forward to being with you again in our next one. Until then, be well, and remember to keep on optimizing your finances, or let us help you if you'd like.